this is Mr. T with a tutorial on graphing linear inequalities. The graph of a linear inequality comprises two parts. We have a boundary line, which is either graphed as a solid line or a dotted line, depending on whether the line is part of the solution, and then a shaded part of the graph. On linear inequalities, all of the solutions will fall on one side of the line, and the other side of the line will contain all of the false parts. In the coming uh, slides, we'll talk about how you decide which part to uh, shade. If we look at this next example, we have this uh, inequality 5x minus 2y greater than 10. Our first part is to be able to graph the equation 5x minus 2y equals 10 to find the boundary line. Since this equation is in standard form, the quickest way to do that would be to use the hide and seek method. If I hide the minus 2y, I get my x-intercept of 2, and if I hide the 5x, I get my y-intercept of negative 5. Since this is a strictly greater than, we're going to use a dotted line. So let's graph the uh, line using the y, x and y-intercepts and make the dotted line. Now we have to decide which side to uh, shade. To do that, we're going to use a test point. If you need to pick a point that's not on the line. If 0, 0 is not on the line, that's going to be the easiest problem, easiest point to calculate with. If we put 0, 0 into the inequality, we get 0 greater than 10, which is false. That means that all the points on the side of the line where the uh, test point is make it false. Therefore, the other side has the true, so we want to shade the side that's true. So we shade this other side. That can be, you know, making the test point can be a little bit time consuming, so there is a shortcut we can use. If we solve the inequality first for y, so we get y by itself on the left, we can then use the inequality symbol to know whether to shade below the line if it's a less than or above the line if it's greater than. If you're not sure, you can always pick a test point to check your solution. So if we look at another example, if we do this one in the quick way, we have to first solve this equation for y. Remember, since I had to divide by a negative, I had to flip the inequality. We use the slope-intercept form to graph the line. So the y-intercept is at negative 3, and the slope is 2. So we go up 2 over 1. And this time, since we have the equals part, we draw a solid line. Since this is a less than, we have to look where we have the y by itself. That means we want to shade below. You can put your pencil on the line and go straight down to find where below is. Sometimes when the graphs is very steep, it's not obvious which way is up or down. Again, these graphs show that the shaded side, all the points over here make this original inequality true, and all the points over here make it false. hope this helps you. Thank <music> you.